Hello everyone, it's Aino, and today I will make a new tutorial video about the smudge. So, um, I will try to explain, but <laughs> it's also really hard for me. So, um, I will try my best, and yeah, let's try. So, we have to open our picture on Photoshop. We'll make a new file. So, I will name it Rumble. So, for the size, you can do your own size, it's okay. So push OK, go back on the first layer, and we will drag our layer like this on the new file. So now we have to duplicate our layer like four times. So duplicate here, but I will use the shortcut, it's cmd plus j on Mac, and I think it's ctll plus j on Windows. So for time like this we will hide the first one and we will change the size and the rotation of the other one so for example we can do one like this one here we have to cover all the background one like this and one like this so duplicate more if you didn't cover everything like me oops I have to duplicate and change and one more and we are done okay so now we will take every layers so take the first one keep pressing shift and click on the last one and now we have to merge them so it's just here okay now we can use the smudge thing so you have to choose the finger tool just here and we will open the shape windows so it's F5 or just here or form, I don't know in English actually so here's my settings so you will do like me so for the size here we don't care actually we will see after so here 100 on 25 size 75 50 here next one 95 1 100 60 0 and you have to click here okay so now we can smudge so now you have to try it so it's like painting so it's not that hard but try to do like me step by step you can't rush it you have to take your time so I will just make the video faster because it took so much time So we are finally done, and this is how I make my smudge background. And I just wanted to show you one more thing. So, if you have a picture with corner like this, you can smudge this corner. So, just put the same setting and just smudge. Just make less so it can be cool in some way you have to practice little bits then you could do something like this and if you have any question I'm here so you can send me a message and I will respond to you so thanks for watching and see you soon